Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what a VNS is, how a VNS works, who qualifies to have a VNS, VNS surgery and recovery, symptoms from having a VNS, and maintenance of a VNS. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link at the top of our channel and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. According to Mayo Clinic, a vagus nerve stimulator or VNS involves using a device to stimulate the vagus nerve to help treat epilepsy and depression. VNS therapy has been approved by the FDA in the United States for children over the age of four with focal epilepsy as well as adults. When implanted, the wire of the VNS is connected to the left vagus nerve, which then sends signals to the brainstem. According to Livanova, the goal of the VNS is to reduce seizures, improve memory, help to decrease medication, improve alertness, mood and memory, decrease status epileptis, decrease hospital visits, and improve patient's quality of life. Patients are considered for a VNS when two or more anticonvulsant medications fail to control seizure activity. A VNS can help to reduce seizure activity and improve recovery. Around 30% of people who have epilepsy are known to have drug-resistant or refractory epilepsy. VNS surgery is an outpatient surgery. Two incisions are made, one under the armpit or chest, while the other one near the neck. The pulse generator is then implanted on the upper side of the chest. According to Mayo Clinic, a physical examination along with lab work is conducted to see if the patient qualifies for a VNS. Once the device is implanted, the pause generator can be activated by the doctor and programmed to deliver the impulses to the vagus nerve. The doctor can set the device to send impulses at the amount needed to help control seizure activity. According to the article, Vagus Nerve Stimulation, Side Effects, and Long-Term Safety, side effects are usually related to the quote-unquote on phase of stimulation. Cough, hoarseness, voice alteration, and paresthesias, which diminish over time. No side effects such as cognitive impairment have been reported. According to the American Association of Neurological Surgeons, Additional side effects can be general pain, throat or neck pain, throat or larynx spasms, headache, insomnia, ingestion, muscle movements, or twitching related to the stimulation, nausea and or vomiting, impaired sense of touch, and prickling or tingling of the skin. Contact your physician right away if you experience the following. Constantly hoarse voice, Stimulation, which becomes painful or irregular. Stimulation, which causes choking, breathing, or swallowing difficulties, or a change in heart rate. Changes in your level of consciousness, such as increased drowsiness. Signs that the pulse generator may not be stimulating properly or that the battery is depleted. Any new or unusual changes related specifically to the stimulation. According to Livanova, the battery life can last 4.9 to 10 years, depending on the setting your doctor has it on. Your doctor will be able to tell when the battery needs replacing and can schedule a new generator to be placed. The procedure is an outpatient procedure that takes less than an hour. In conclusion, according to Mayo Clinic, a vagus nerve stimulation, or VNS, involves using a device to stimulate the vagus nerve to help treat epilepsy 
and depression. VNS therapy has been FDA approved in the United States for children over the ages of four with focal epilepsy as well as adults. A patient is considered for a VNS when two or more anticonvulsant medications fail to control seizure activity. A VNS can help to reduce seizure activity and improve recovery. Around 30% of people who have epilepsy are known to have drug-resistant or refractory epilepsy. VNS surgery is an outpatient procedure. There are common side effects when having the VNS turned on. If you are experiencing any of the negative side effects that were listed, it is important to contact your physician as soon as possible. To learn more about vagus nerve stimulation, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.